have an announcement to make. It's very, very important. You see, this, this housing plot that I am standing in front of, let me, let me just, uh, I got, oh shit, I got to tap into the, <laughs> into the screen. You see this plot of land, this, this little plot here, I own this now. Hi, everybody. Hope everyone's having a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, depending where you are. Uh, so, um, the housing lottery came up, and I actually won this time. I was against somebody, so it's a miracle it actually got it. Um, I don't know how many people that I was up against, but I was up against at least one, because I was lottery number two. Um, but yeah. Hi, Faxis. Thank you for being first. But, yeah. Um, so... Uh, the usual Wednesday stuff is not happening this week, so... I did an exercise today, but I do have a reason for it. Like, a legitimate reason. <laughs> this time. Um, I do all of, I do all of my exercising, um, right after work, but I have to, I had to send in my car for repair, so I had to come home directly after work and like get together with my partner and then we would have to i had to drop off my car and then get a ride back from him kind of miserable business actually <laughs> but that's why because i couldn't stay after work this today for my exercise stuff but i am doing it tomorrow and friday i'll i'm gonna be good it's not today but yeah i have a house now in final fantasy um Basically, I'm going to be doing a collab with Salem later. I, we need to figure out the logistics of this because there's like a lot of things we could do that I've thought of. Um, so, so um, I, I know you're laughing. I, I know, I know. Um, but so when we figure it out and I figure we figure out what we want to do, because like on one hand, um, Salem, they could um, like they can make their own character for this place and like I could let them stay here, but before, before we can do any of that, you might notice like, hey, Nur, you own this plot, right? Why don't you have a house on it yet? Well, here's the answer for that today. So, um, I bought the house. It was 3 million gil. So the 3 million gil's gone. I currently have like a 200,000 gil. So what I have to do is purchase the permit the permit to build the house on the lot which um if i go to a state hall and say build a state hall i don't have any construction permits i, I can purchase a construction permit they cost half a mil and i do not have that right now so i got to figure out how to how to make how to double my money basically <laughs> i need to double my money today or at least like within a week. This housing stuff is serious. It's serious business, Bexis. You don't understand. This is very important to me. <laughs> I I need money to build the house on the plot that already cost three million dollars. I can also like customize it. I can I can make it wood on the outside, I can make it um, composite, which just means it's a combo of wood and stone. Or I could have a stone house. I might go with the stone house for this one. Antivirus alert. Oh my god! Your PC is absolutely fucked. Squishy, hello! Fuck. How are you doing? Hi everybody, my name is Neur Neurosis. I'm a computerized VTuber. Uh, check what? Aren't you streaming? <laughs> what are you rating? Okay, um... But thank you so much! Can we, can we give you a quick shout out? Everyone should go follow Squishy. Squishy did my rigging. Like, the reason why I, like, move and shit is because of her. Uh, but... Oh, you're playing Final Fantasy 2? How was the Final Fantasy? We're, uh, we're discussing... Uh, right, right now, we are discussing, um, game plans right now. Um, I just won the housing lotto, but I cannot afford to build a house on it right now. <laughs> So, um, we're trying to figure out how to double my money today. How's your stream? Did you do stuff? Which plot? Uh, what is this? What is this area again? I could double your money. What? 
Is what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's um seventh ward plot fifty-three. But I spent all of my money buying the house. I forgot about the permit part of it. So um I have, I'm like halfway there though. So the game plan. How to double my money when all well, let me see my classes. I I can go into botany again. Cause I, here here are my skills. I I'm level 73 gun, um, level 55 book, and level four stick. I have not I have no money making skills right now, but I could. I have zero money making skills. <laughs> yeah. That that is that is a topic for today. I also need to do the collab, um, the collab event stats right now. I think I already I think I already did this co this um event in my main because it's a rerun, right? But that's the other thing on the on the plan agenda for today. I just started streaming, so we're like going over agendas like the plans for right now. Um, and then I can do Stormblood, I guess. I guess I'm I'm like almost there. I can't th enter a designated construction site. This is bullshit. Okay. Um, so how about we do that Final Fantasy 11 collab? What, what is, what, what it, I saw it pop up when I logged in. But uh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Think, I'm gonna give you something. I think I'm giving you coffee. I'm, I'm giving you coffee. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Zeno. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, have your coffee. Thank, thank you. I, I gotta. I can bow. I think. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. I can build. I can build the house now. This is for Salem to decorate for me. Oh. Okay. Is nerd laundering money? I I mean, oh hi Such. How you doing? Okay, let's build this house. Um, I'm not as good as laundering money as you, Soot. I, if I stand in the middle of Limsa, nobody gives me anything. Like, how do you do it? <laughs> even even though I am yeah, I'm <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm not then. Because nobody gives me money. Let's okay, let's Build a permit skill. Okay. I'm very low skilled at it. So it gives him like Discord kid, kid charm. Oh my god. Have a good lurk, squishy. <laughs> Sorry to find out this way. That that sexy is a skill. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna build a stone house. Okay. Then we build it. special training what kind of special training please enlighten me that's my house yay i own property on this account but first we gotta 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 salem is gonna be decorating this for our collab so like i can't do much here but i do have bathe right so i gotta place it um I'll just put it, I'll just put it right here. Yay, and I'll, wait, I have the topiary chocobo, so I'll also put that somewhere. There we go, yay. Perfect. Not on Twitch, ma okay. <laughs> okay, so then. Yeah, let's look at our house. Yeah, we own this now, we own property. Yeah, Salem's gonna have a time with this. I should I should store my furniture. That sounds like a good idea. Something useful so it doesn't take up my inventory anymore. Yeah. Just store everything. Anything in my saddlebag? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. 
I don't know if I have anything with my with my retainers. But I'll at least store what I have. I'll check later. Store. No, I don't. I'm placing it. I'm not placing it yet. Restoring everything. This is Salem's dominion. Cause like, okay. So I want to do a housing stream at some point, but I thought it would be boring to just decorate it myself. So I'm like, what if I just like give Salem money and they can just decorate it for me and it can be whatever they want to do. <laughs> I just thought that would be really funny to do. Like somebody can decorate my house for me. Um, and we can just figure out the logistics. But now that now I have a house. Oh, my God. So now that we own property, let's figure out this collab situation. Okay, so what Midgard Summer is a congested world? When that happen? I thought it was just a normal ass world. Okay, it's the Maiden's Rap City. I got to look that up. All right, where's the start? Usually I'm like, I'm at the event place before stream starts, but because I had the house that was kind of taking my attention, it is, it starts in Limsa. Let's go. Let's go. Well, we're already in Lim Limsa. Let's, let's just start over there. All right, let's see. I think it's upper deck, so it starts. So let's just walk up there. See, I'm walking through Limsa and nobody's giving you giving you money. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm really bad at this sexy thing. Where is? Oh, oh, it's in. It, I think it starts in the bar. Because I, I recognize the glam you get from this, so I think I've already done this event on my main account. I'm gonna have to check later, anyway. It's one of those reruns, I think. Hello? <laughs> Hello, I recognize some people here. <laughs> Hi? <laughs> Welcome 1010 and Squishy to my stream. <laughs> oh my, and Zeno. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> what the fuck is that emote? What the what? <laughs> Where do you get? Wait, is that? Oh, it's the bunny emote. I haven't gotten that yet. I mean, <laughs> what are you? What are you laughing about, Texas? What are you doing? Oh, very... hey, hey. Fine, I'll do twenty jumping jumps before I start this event. While while ten ten kicks at me. <laughs> Are you happy? If that made you happy, you should donate money to charity. Because we're also doing that this week. Heh. <laughs> Alright. A journey to rem- Oh, Squishy's resenting it! <laughs> right. Excuse me, miss? Do you have a moment? I'm Remumu with the Harbor Herald. And judging by your dress, you're one of those well-traveled adventurers I've heard so much about. No doubt one as worldly as yourself has heard the rumors of an unusual warrior maiden from the Far East. Danger constantly follows in her footsteps. And the Fire Easterners I've spoken with can't bleh, claim her dress and fighting style are nothing like they've ever seen. Do you know what happened the last time a strange warrior from unknown lands came to Eorzea? The upstart uh, Petter Winsome practically stole the parchment from my desk to write the story. Our readership soon doubled, and he's been regarded as the Harbor Herald's finest reporter ever since. That should have been my story, and I'll be damned if he beats me to this one. 
but if following hers is as dangerous as it sounds, I'll need an adventurer like you to keep me safe. If you're interested, meet me down at Costa del Sol. That's when she was last spotted. That's where I plan to start. I just got... All right, I'm like, so today um, I was trying to get in contact with a realtor to look at houses and he never called me. <laughs> so I texted him and he just responded. Very apologetic and I'm like, okay, it's fine. I just need to schedule. I don't like, uh, what? so house buying things, just house buying, buying things. But um, when you start talking to like a new realtor, they start doing the whole song and dance just like, oh, here's everything you need to know. But the thing is, this is like our third realtor we talked to. I, I'm literally just using him for for housing tours. <laughs> so I really don't need the song and dance today. I really just need to have tour scheduled. That's all I need. You're here at last. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. She was here just a few bells ago, as I was told. Look at the, over there. Could it be? Oh, I think I've, to I've totally done this on my main. I've seen your face before. Begging your pardons. Please do not thank me strange for asking, but can you tell me if you're, we are close to Selvina or perhaps uh, Maura? I fear I'm hopelessly lost. Salvina, Mara? Sorry, dear, but you're on the eastern shore of Vilbrand. Eastern La La Nausicaa, to be precise. I take you from the far, you're the far eastern traveler that's been the talk of the taverns as of late. Ugh, what happened to my voice there? Uh, you've cut quite the warpath through Eorzea from what I've heard. Yes, I, I hail from the far east, but Vilbrand, La Nausicaa, I cannot recall such names. Though truth be told, I cannot recall much of anything since awakening in these strange surroundings. I bear got feared. I you mean you've lost your memory? I remember. My name is Iroha. I was I'm training in the way of the gla the glaive, though I feel I am still a novice. Before awakening here, I was on a mission to to <sighs> Forgive me. It's hard to make sense of what little I can recall. The only clear thoughts in my mind are of Master and a powerful technique I labor to perfect, Amatsu Kiori. I am certain it is, it is essential to completing my mission. Hi, Baron. How you doing? Every fantastic one. Hmm. Interesting. You'd remember training above all above all else. Perhaps that's the key. If you continue to practice your Master's teachings, it stands to reason other related memories might come back to you. Recalling my mission by first recalling Master's teachings. Yes, that does seem plausible. I do not doubt many of the techniques I, I learned have a specific purpose. It would only be a matter of just focusing on this particular one. Neurosis.exe <gasps> has been forcibly installed. Baron, thank you so much Good for the gifts up to Squishy. Enjoy your emote, Squishy. This is the scoop I've been looking for. A far eastern warrior on a special mission? What if we're in danger? If this isn't some fairy tale like Petter story, people need to know. But if she's no but she's no good to us if she can't remember anything. Help her so she we can get to the bottom of this. Hey, I have MSQ going. MSQ's going fine. Um right now we're doing the the current event in Final Fantasy, which is um the Final Fantasy Eleven collab. Which I know nothing about Final Fantasy Eleven, so a lot of this is just going right over my head. Um <laughs> but I'm enjoying it so far. Here, take this map before you go. Training won't do you any good if you get lost now, will it? Your kindness is greatly appreciated. Thank you. The journey alone in this strange land will be a trial on all on its own, I am sure. Hmm, might we explore this shore south of here? I recall mention that the beach was an excellent place for training. Something about the aquatic wildlife being suitable for sparring. If the creatures here are similar, I would very much like to try my hand against them. And I trust you'll ensure she has ever, every opportunity to do so. Now don't let me keep you. The sooner she remembers her mission, the better. 
When she's had her fill of combating critters along the coast, perhaps you should rest in Limsa where it's safer. Bulwark Hall should do nicely. It's the first place you'll see after coming through the gates. Nod. Since they're bringing this back again, because I think last time, I think when I first played this this um collab, it was also a rerun. Like they keep rerunning this. So maybe there's hope. Maybe I can. I would really, really like it if we could um if we could do the Final Fantasy 15 collab on stream. Because the ending of it is hilarious. Okay, where are we going? Again? Yeah, there's a lot of people here, so it's like somewhere. Is it up on the cliff? Okay, I forgot I can fly here. It's not up here. Oh, I have to wait for a fate. Ugh. I just read the description right as you said that, Tenton. I have to wait for a fate to drop. Well, <laughs> I guess we're waiting for our fate. That's why people are just waiting here because they want it, want it to happen. Oh, this is painful. I hate it when quests are tied to fates that aren't like because usually when they have fate based um event things it goes pretty pretty quickly because I, I remember the easter one last time we did a fate for an easter one like the fates popped like really fast but i guess they forgot to update it for this one yay hey guys do, do you what's what's your event that is there an event that you really want to have a rerun of? Mine's Yokai Watch. <laughs> because it's really funny when it happens. I would laugh a lot. But we don't. Come on. Hey, Ten Ten, we've already done the time. We would just have to get the new weapons. That's all we would need to do. All we would have to do is get the Reaper stuff. The, um, was it Reaper, Sage, um, Vite. What's it? What's it called? Viper and a Pictomancer. Ha. I see you running around. Fate just ended not too long ago. Oh, thank, thank you for letting, letting me know. Like us. Also, welcome in. Hope you're having a fantastic one. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'll just, I'll just chill here. Hopefully, the timer isn't too long for this. So I want to get this wrapped up before I. Cause like. If I just like start doing MSQ self, I forget to do the rest of this event. <laughs> so might as well just chill. But I think, I think, I think, I think Yokai Watch would be really funny to stream. Because if it pop, if Yokai Watch pops, I'll I'll fucking stream it. I'll do a Yokai Watch night. <laughs> you can watch my brain fall out in real time. Like it did last time Yokai Watch dropped. Will I do the whole thing? Maybe. It depends how long the stream is. Shit, I'd have to unlock Shatterbringers by then anyway. Because like half the half the weapon stuff was tied to Shatterbringers, I think. The fates there. There's like random from what I remember, there's some weapons that like only happened in the in the Heaven's Ward areas, the Stormblood areas, the Shadow Warriors areas. So. It'd be funny. But no, on all seriousness, I really want them to rerun 15. I don't want to do... I don't want to go to every city state and do fates. <laughs> Final Fantasy 11, why? Come on. Come on, don't you want to do fates? It, it gives you a reason to do fates because honestly outside of Shadowbringers and Endwalker there really isn't a reason aside from you know grinding for like relics and stuff so yokai watch would be very very useful for you you can finally do all those fates that you never did before I mean before yokai watch have uh, the you know heaven's word relics yeah I'm based <laughs> I 
I wish I had a speed like I wish I had a speedrunner timer going up like just like <gasps> there here it is we're here let's go let's go oh no I have like I don't have any of my skills There aren't many other fates in this event. I hope this is the only one. Smile. Oh, there are, aren't they? Yay! We love Final Fantasy XI in this household. It's like I've never played it before, and everything is kind of going over my head. Tencent just like g-posing in some random location just laughing at me just like ha, ha 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 look at the pain that Nur is going through let me pose my character <laughs> all right we, we did it okay let's go to limsa Where is she? Oh, it's just over there. No, I'm doing the Thandal and Fate. Pro oh no, you're also in hell. Perfect. Oh, I forgot. My muscle memory. I forgot to read that. Oh my, what a peculiar stone. I sense something within it, something familiar, something dark. Wait, you haven't done this? Have you not done this event before? 1010 is a rerun. I remember doing this before. Unless there's like new things to get this year. The grueling battle in the cold against evil made manifest. A lord of shadows, long dead yet somehow resurrected. The fate of the realm hanging in the balance. I remember. And yet, I am not convinced these visions relate to my mission. Why would Master entrust me with the means to slay such a foe? The answers must lie within my memories. They have to. All the more reason I must hurry to complete my training in the perfect Amatsu Kiori. While waiting for your arrival, I asked a couple of travelers from Gridania, I think, where I might find creatures of a more dark and unusual nature. They told me of a place called Hawk Manor. A cursed estate whose grounds plague hosts the various sorts of hellish monsters. These creatures sound like promising opponents, full of the fury and cunning I would expect in a true battle. Now then, let us be off. When we are finished, we can meet in the nearby town. Okay, Gridania time. We participate in a new fate. Cool. Okay. I I know what's going on here. All right. I think that it's just delightful how Yoshi P thinks this is a great idea. <laughs> Maybe it was the Final Fantasy XI team's idea. Who knows? I don't see. <gasps> I was doted on. Sorry, I barely. I never look at my. <laughs> I, I never. I never look at my uh, in-game chat. I'm sorry, I missed it. It's going on right now. Please. No, it ended. <laughs> no, my luck. No worries. Just got chill here. You know, if I G pose here, we'll, we'll like pop. I have chatty emote stuff on. Ah.
No, I don't want to do that action. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like vibing right now. Hey, 1010, since you're doing the, um, since you're doing the old ah one, can you just delay it? Can you make sure they don't win it by the time I get over there? Then please, thank you. It's dead. God damn it. <laughs> you failed me again, 1010. You said outside G pose, it can jump and clears any emotes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Or I could just do fall, guys. I think your fate spawn though. It hasn't. I mean, when I flew in, it just ended. I'm waiting for it to spawn again. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was going on. I walked up and they finished it. The most heartbreaking thing in existence. I thought Roja was like, I start. I saw that. No. No, she was leaving. She was walking away as I flew in. The bitch. Ugh. At least we get chill time. So, how's everyone doing today? A anyone watch any, like, good new TV shows? I've been watching, um... This weekend, I watched um, the new Has Been Hotel stuff with Moji and Brevi. It was very good. Like, obviously, it is flawed, but I was laughing a lot and I was having a very good time. So I think that is a sign of a good, good show, regardless. Plus, it has, like, Broadway songs. I love that shit. There's a fourth... Wait. <laughs> There's a fourth face. <laughs> oh, no. Where is it, 1010? Hey, hey, 1010, where is it? In hell we lament. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like dying over here. Oh my God. Boy. We're both in hell together. Yay. It just ended. Oh my, oh no, 1010. You're just dying. Hey, maybe by the time I get over there, it'll pop. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a miracle. I mean, I I mean, I'm chilling here with the floating eyes. Um, fl floating eyes, the the spooky manner that everyone likes skipping around. Oh, I can force the fourth fate. You can force it? How? Tell me your secret. Please, I. If you can force it, I would like to know. There's a destination you click on and you just spawn it. Okay, that sounds dope. Cool. I wish they had it here. Because clearly that's not a thing right now. I'm standing in the water. <laughs> my <laughs> standing water, my boots filling with water as I wait for wait for fate to pop. Killing things with one shot, you know, as you do. You know, clearing up the local eye population. Why not? <laughs> Make it easier for the sprouts that pop by. It's me, the dancer. Yeah! Love your glam. I always love the, that fucking um, level 80 dancer glam. It, it always sucks to know that in order to dye it, you gotta, you gotta do the, um, was it the Varus? It's the one with Sid, that, that trial, to get the dyeable items. I still need to do that on my main. PvP? Oh, it's in PvP? Oh, oh, here we go. Finally, let's go. Demon, poor demon. I look 
into PvP then. I'd love to have, I'd love to be able to get Diable of Lady here. Especially the Machinist ones are so good. Grady. I use parts of Machinist all the time. My my uh, main account lamps. Good. All right, perfect. All right, let's head over to Gridania. I'm sure I'm gonna be seeing everybody here <laughs> in Ulda. A new user has uh, logged in. You like us? Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, she's down here. I do love that that feeling when you're like doing a quest line and you keep seeing the same people over and over again. You're just like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> We're doing this together now. Thank you for once again, eight uh, PvP is black based colored, EX Varus is red based. Oh, okay. Thank you once again for aiding in my training. To witness such majesty and grace on the field is truly inspiring. It serves as a wonderful lesson in combat. You found yet another strange stone. It, yes, it radiates a, with a warmth, much like the last, but the color is... Wait, do you hear that? <gasps> Final Fantasy 11 jump scare. a little more than 10 years old 1010 10. excuse you <laughs> we thought many bat fought many battles together and we were not alone no i dare say our comrades were well beyond counting what business would i a lowly student have undertaking such missions i cannot make sense of it still i must thank you for this before meeting you i was hopelessly lost smothered by a fog of fear and uncertainty but now i have your light to guide me you have brought me yet, me yet another step closer to completing my training and unlocking the memories still dormant within me. 20. Oh, yeah, it is 20. His Final Fantasy 14 is, is 10 years old now. After speaking with a few of the patrons here before you arrived, I believe I found the perfect place to continue honing my skills, the Sagoli Desert. If what I was told was true, a creature of unspeakable terror roams the sands. They say its strength is impossible to gauge as no one lives to tell of its great might. But together, I believe we can slay the beast slow. Slay the beast slow. When we have finished, we can take a hard-earned rest in Ulda. I'm fucking making a laser. <laughs> Why is Senpai making a laser? Okay, uh, let's... We have to do the fade again. We. Okay, so let me... I had a feeling it was Forgotten Springs, but I didn't want to just blindly select it on the map. Yay! Alright, let's go. What the fuck other quests I have here? What do I have here? Oh, it's Ifrit. Gotcha. That's what I was doing last. That's what I was doing last stream. Well, like last solo stream when I was trying to buy a house. Well, at least it, at least, at least it hasn't popped yet. That's good. It's gonna sit in the sand. It's gonna sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Just me, everybody that I've been fighting with so far, Emmett. An Astidian wind up, um, a cactar, um, a rabbit. <laughs> we have it all. Someone doing. Okay, Fexes, I'll do another round of jumping jacks, but if the fate pops, I'm stopping in the middle of it. 
You can't make me, like, miss the fate. But Bubby, like, he chooses random parts of the house to sleep in, and it changes every week. This week, it's under our bed. So maybe he's up there. Oh, here he goes. It's B. A giant scorpion. Don't attack when its tail's on. The most dangerous part of this enemy is that it made us <laughs> it made us level 35. Cut my level in half. What a fiend. We did it. We. Okay, so we need to go to Olda. Olda time. Wait, probably in the adventures. I'm just, I'm just walking it. I'm hoofing it. What? There's a, there's a, oh, they're so in sync. I'm so proud of them. Oh, 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 they're sleeping. <laughs> okay. Now, there's somebody in Old Da right now named Xbox Game Pass. I just want them to know that they have the best name in this game. I saw them chatting. Still doesn't beat my favorite name of all time. When I was in Leviathan, I saw I saw someone named Chipotle fanfiction. It still hasn't left my fucking mind. I always every <laughs> Minecraft Steve. <laughs> every day I think about Chipotle fanfiction. The best person in in uh, Leviathan. There are no words to express my gratitude for your assistance. Never in my wildest dreams I imagined confronting the legendary circuit. If not for you, I would be what, but one of countless victims who succumbed to its poison sting. Another stone. Yes, it comes to me now. The mortal struggle. Forbidden magics uttered in a final bid for, sal uh, for salvation. I can explain that. It all makes sense now. The pitched battles, the arduous journeys, the fellowship of adventurers. 
It was not my life that I recalled, but rather the tales of a great hero I mistook as myself. I suspected such feats were too extraordinary to be my own, and the memories held within the stone have removed all doubt. They were of a journey into the past, one that revealed a horrible truth I dare not repeat aloud. In order for me to do so, you'd have to play Final Fantasy XI. And I remember my home. Vanadia, uh, Van Vanadiel? It is not some territory or continent, but an entirely different world. My true memories return to me now. It is all thanks to you. More importantly, I believe I now understand how to wield Amatsu Kiori. It would be not... It, it should be not... It, 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 it should not be long before my path home is clear to me as well. But first, I must see my training to its completion. While waiting here, I heard unsettling stories of a foul beast terrorizing Bronze Lake. This is the perfect opportunity to put into practice everything I've learned. Today is the day. I wield the power of Amatsu Kiori. After this last endeavor, let us meet in Limsa Lominsa. All right, fate number four. Give it up for fate number four. Mm -hmm. All right, where is this? Okay, it's, it's fun. Hmm. Give it up for fate number four, everybody. Let's go. Thank God I can still join this one. Yeah, it's pop. Oh. Oh, well, I guess it didn't pop. I guess it didn't count for me. Whoopsies. I wait. <laughs> it's already begun. Can I pop it again? We need the battle's already begun. Okay. Okay. Hi, Aroha. Yay. girl. Probably didn't let me have that last one because I didn't witness this. Yeah, I didn't see this one. already seen this. Let's go to Limsa. Your training is complete. Let's go. I 
At last, the power of Amatsu Kiori is mine to command. My memories are slowly but surely returning. None of this would have been possible if not for your wavering guidance. To think I could have forgotten a mission so vital. My resolve was, was unyielding. My mind focused on a task before me. In the end, I fear I may have jeopardized all I hold dear. As I told you earlier, my home is, or rather, was, a home known as Vanadio. Try as we might, its destruction could not be forestalled. But fate saw fit to give me one last chance. I was, I was allowed to travel back in time, to escape the past before the darkness had consumed us all. Together with the heroes of the past, I knew that tragedy could be averted, just as it had been so many times before. Master was the greatest of them all, a hero without equal, whose grand adventures I mistook as my own memories. I cannot help but feel that I am forgetting something else important, something that happened to Master. Hmm, suppose in time it'll come with me. Before I leave, might we go and speak with Remumu? If not for her insistence, I would have been bereft of your assistance. It would be rude not to extend my thanks to her as well. Alright, go upstairs. Stay. told me the good news. Her memory is, for the most part, restored. Perhaps more importantly, her training is complete. If you hadn't come with me to Coastal del Sol, I dare say she'd be swinging at crabs along the beach. Now that I have you here, I'd very much like to talk to you about my store. I mean, about what you were doing before we arrived. How exactly did you come here to be here in Eorzea? And, and you say you went back in time, trying to save your world? Yes, you have the right of it. No life was spared by the darkness. None save for mine, that is. Fate intervened and I was sent back to the past, to a time where I could find heroes capable of saving Vanadiel. That is how I was reunited with Master, although at, at a much earlier time than I anticipated. The last thing I remember is a fierce battle in a strange light. When I next awoke, I was here. To be torn away from Master when I was needed most. My heart feels like it may burst. How awful. You were close then? Master was like family to me, an exceptional warrior besides. I've spent my entire life striving to become such a hero, to live up to the legends I so fondly remember. It all began with the stone, or so the story goes. In ages past, a sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its light filled the world with life and brought forth mighty gods. The world entered a state of an age of bliss, that is, until the gods fell into slumber. That world is my home, Vanadiel. It was home to three great nations, the kingdom of San or uh, Dioria, the Republic of Bastok, and the Federation of Winders. Powerful as they were, though, in times of strife, they would turn to a single hero, my master. Be it demon of rage seeking vengeance, or a spiteful god of god our destruction, master was always there to pull us back from the brink of oblivion. Is that a typo? <laughs> It said our instead of of. But was that a rare typo in Final Fantasy XIV? Damn. So long as there, there is light and life in the world, the legend of Vanadiel's greatest hero will live on. It was little wonder these stories were first to spring back into my mind. I have all but memorized them, but no matter how many times I asked, you would always... Oh, please excuse me. For a moment when I looked at you, something in your eyes reminded me of Master and I... Don't worry yourself over it. I imagine our friend here often has that effect on people. 
smile. I realize how ridiculous this seems. Anyone in their right mind would think it's some fanciful dream. But for me, this world is the world this world is the dream, and now it is time to awaken. When I next open my eyes, I will be home, and Vana Diel, once more at Master's side. This may just be a dream, but it is one I shall never forget. Thank you for everything. It would seem I am not yet ready to return. Is this perhaps the will of the goddess? If it is by her will, then so it shall be. I vow to work hard every day to become a warrior worthy of your teachings. Then, when the time comes, we shall meet again, here in Eorzea, perhaps in the waking world. There goes the greatest story I'll never get to write. An adventure from another world, traveling back in time to save her people. Who's gonna believe such a silly tale? I'll leave the flights of fancy to pet, pet her. But for her sake, I hope she finds her way home, wh wherever they may be. I stole her clothes. <laughs> That's the most important part of this. All right, we did it. Awesome. So that's um, the Final Fantasy XI collab event. I think that's the second time or third time it's happened. So we've done it on this account. So if it reruns again before I end like this series of streams, then I won't do it again. But very good, very good. So, um. Now we're gonna head back to Stormblood. So I'm actually gonna be doing stuff because last time, last time I was doing uh, Stormblood stuff, I got distracted by housing. So now that I have a house, I won't get distracted anymore. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Second. Second. Huh? Oh, second. It's the second time it's happened. Okay. Thanks for playing with me, Lycos. I'm off the storm blood. I should probably use my ticket for this time. I'm trying to save my tickets, but this seems like a good, it, that was like over a thousand bones. All right. So we're in, we just started, um, what is this? Uh, patch 4.2. So like we're right at the beginning of 4.2. So this give, I think 4.2 is a lot shorter than 4.1 because 4.1 took me like four hours to do. This is going to be a lot shorter. What is this? Is this... Is this... Oh, it's Kugane Castle. I'm not... I don't think I'll unlock that. I mean, pick me. <laughs> Greetings, honored madam. May I show you in? Yeah. Friends, thank you for coming at such short notice. God, Hancock, voice acting jump scare. We were told the matter was urgent. I take it Yugiri and Sorobin are also involved? Ah, my presence here is but a happy coincidence. I am come on separate business, which can wait. My apologies. Master Hancock, pray, tell our friends exactly what you told me. Of course. Of... Some few days ago, a large detachment of soldiers was seen arriving at the Galilean Embassy. This seemed to me most unusual, as no personages of note are due to visit for a matter of months. So, I made a few inquiries, whereupon I learned of a most curious rumor. 
Apparently, the soldiers were dispatched to Kugane to investigate recent sightings of a certain individual. The late acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma, Yotsuyu. Yotsuyu? I beg your pardon? I too am loath to believe it. I saw the keep come down on top of her. We all did. I would not presume to question your eyewitness accounts, nor am I one to take rumors at face value. The fact is, the Garleans have no knowledge of what took place at Dorma Castle. They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles Yotsuyu. But a woman who resembles Yotsuyu in the company of a grizzled Rogadan samurai? I dare say that thickens the plot. Okay, when I first played this um, expansion, um, that line threw me for a loop because I completely forgot that uh, Gosetsu was a Rogadan. I just thought he was a very buff here. <laughs> Gosetsu, he's alive. Like, I know they mentioned he's a Rog Rogadan um, earlier in the story, but like I had forgotten. And I was like, Rogadan? Who? <laughs> Surely not Gosetsu. Well, I have no conclusive proof. I thought that such a possibility warranted your attention. Have you informed Lord Hien? Well, I think we'd all like to believe the old bear survived. Indeed. While I dare not give myself wholly to hope, I will not deny that I have prayed for such a miracle ever since that fateful day. But regardless of my personal feelings, if the Empire has seen fit to pursue these rumors so vigorously, we can scarce afford to ignore them. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. Will you join me in this quest? I'm not sure what I'd do if I saw Yotsuyu again. I like her a lot. I understand. Only too well. But if Gosetsu yet lives, he will need our help if he is to avoid capture. Gosetsu is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Our course is clear. Hancock, is there aught else you can tell us? Alas, not. But... I have taken the liberty of employing one of the finest informants money can buy. You shall have the latest intelligence on the Garlean's movements and more besides. Little rat. Little rat guy. Rat. The informant awaits your pleasure in the back, back streets of Sanjo Hanamachi. For its shining facade to his dark underbelly, you know Kugane as intimately as he. One of the finest informants money can buy. I don't have a bad feeling about this. Permit me to assist you in your quest, my friends. The sooner your business is concluded, the sooner we, we may speak of mine. Should you cert take you away from Kugane, my boat is at your disposal. I shall see that she is ready to sail. I'll give Sorabon a hand. If he's providing us a ship, the least we can do is supply the provisions. We'll be at the pier if you need us. A welcome offer and an excellent plan. Without further ado, let us seek out this informant in Shan Sanjo Hanamachi. Now we wait and see who comes. It has been a while, my friends. Yes, yes, long while indeed. <sighs> ah, 
I knew it. Yodo, any funny business and you know what'll happen, I trust. No, no. No funny business. Only loyal service and finest quality information. Of course, such quality does not come cheap. No, but then Cancock already paid you. Honestly, you think we were born yesterday. I have half a mind to call it lease. No, no. Not lease, I beg you. No boots. I'll tell you everything I know free of charge. The Empire searches for Yotsu. High and low, far and wide. Come to enlist by help, they did. Promising rich rewards for decisive information. And you have decisive information? Were the two individuals cited here indeed Gosetsu and Yotsuyu? Alas, I've seen them see them with my own eyes, I did not. But the Imperials are confidant. Yes, yes, very confidant indeed. Look at the size of their contingent. But here's in something they do not know. A rumor which you will find most interesting, I think. They say that an elderly road against samurai appeared on Hugane Dori in a beauteous maiden, and sold his katana to a pawnbroker. This was no common katana either, but one of surpassing craftsmanship. Well, that is interesting, assuming it's true. Do you cooperate the river with the pawnbroker in question? Uh, no. Regrettably, I do not have a working relationship with the master of uh, Shif Shifuku Sh uh, Chichian. Now, why would that be, I wonder? If I didn't know better, I think you let your money. Ahem, he will help you, I am certain. While you speak with him, I will make contact with the Garlean connections and learn what I can of their progress. A glimpse of the plate is all you need to be sure, but is it wise to let the Namazu out of sight? What choice do we have? No other choice but this. My choice it is. Although I'm adept at gathering information, it is so much more efficient to share the work. He's right. Given the urgency, we could do well to split up. And so I will go with our friend here. Nothing improved efficiency like a little supervision. You, but, uh, yes, 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 we will go together and there will be no boots. Let's go. Let's be about it then. Good luck with the katana. Shall we reconvene at the pier later on? Fragrance as Ruby Bazaar offices are. I prefer the fresh air. I believe Alize has her task well in hand. Shall we seek out the pawnbroker? Oh, I got a greeting. Greeting emote. You have learned the emote greeting. Hello. Everything in order? Then let's proceed to Kogane Dori and find the master of Shofuku Shitian. Alright. And it's all the way over here. What are you what are you for? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> that that is um Final Fantasy 12 collab. I don't I don't want to do that. Um, we might have had customers like those you describe. So many people come through, it's difficult to remember. Perhaps you could jog my memory by making a purchase? No, well I can't blame a woman for trying. <laughs> A rogue samurai and a maiden? Never seen him. Now, if you don't have any business with me, make way for someone who does. Welcome, good madame. Welcome. Will you be buying or? Ah, so you've heard tell of the rogue samurai's katana. Small wonder. It is a fine example of its kind. One moment. There, I hope you have found our pawnbroker. Excellent work there. And that is the katana? There can be no doubt. It's Gosetsu's blade. Craftsmanship is exquisite, does it not? And you will be pleased to know that the, the pledge has just expired. 
I should be glad to sell it to you, assuming you have the coin. This is no ordinary weapon, you understand, and it is priced accordingly. But you are serious, I suggest you act quickly, as several noted collectors have already expressed an interest. Hmm. The blade represents conclusive proof of Gosetsu's arrival. I suppose this could be considered a necessary cost in securing a safe return, yet it is not a decision I can make alone, least of all when our nation has scarce begun to rebuild. I'll pay. Nay, my friend. Grateful as though I am for the offer, I cannot ask this of you. It is enough to know that Kosetsu is alive and well. Yugiri, wait. The Saiyans will buy the katana. Pray consider it a gift. Master Alfino, your kindness is touching, truly. Yet, in matters of coin, would Min Mistress Tataru not expect to be consulted? Come now. Our friend would never have relinquished the blade where, there not need, where, where the need not great. And we are not bound by honor to help a friend in need? I say we are. I'm sure Tatar will wholeheartedly agree. Word spoken before a disaster. It's settled then. You have made a wise choice, my friend. Such pieces are few and far between. Now, if you'd be so good to come this way, I shall prepare the necessary papers. I may ask, sir, after he visited your establishment, do you perchance know where the old samurai went? He is our friend, and we would like to return his weapon to him. Friend of yours, you say? I see. Well, then, I suppose there can be no harm in telling you. No sooner had I provided him with the request some, requested some that is, that his pretty young companion began clamoring for Dongo. I duly recommended those served the Umineko Tea House, and thither did they set off. Clamoring for Dongo? Can these truly be the same people? It makes no sense. Some matter of code, perhaps, but it avails us not to speculate. Let us go to this let us go to this tea house and see if we can pick up the trail. Dongo, huh? Hmm. Oh, wandering mistral. Yoshi P. Yoshi P, what, what horrifying trials do you have for us? Uh, Lakshmi. And Susano. And Shinryu. Remember, how can I forget a pair like that? The most beautiful girl you'll ever see, scoffing down Dongo as if her life depended on it, while an old samurai looked on. Not quite, a, not quite what he expected, I'll wager. Far be it me to gossip about my customers, but he was planning to spirit her away across the Ruby Sea, out of reach of her family, no doubt. When the girl fi had finally found her fill, they set off in the direction of the Shiokaze Hostillery, presumably to find some someone discreet with the boat. So Gutsutsu makes for Doma. But this woman who travels with them, the more I hear about her, the more I wonder if she truly if she can truly be Yotsuyu. While doubts remain over the identity of Gosetsu's traveling companion, for now we can but follow the trail. Come, um, let us go away to the pier and make make ready to sail. With luck, Alize and Al will have already joined Master Solarvan and Mistress Tower there. The problem, the problem with, um, doing is, like, the last, last two streams I did were, like, normal, normal text. So, like, the uh, Toma game we played yesterday and also another Code 2 Memories. When I did have to read things, it was all normal text. So, I'm, I'm used to reading, like, standard English. And now I'm going back to Final Fantasy where everything is complicated. And now I'm tripping over my words like a dumbass the whole time. God damn it. 
I'm just not used to the Final Fantasy talk. Excellent timing, my friends. Mistress Alize arrived here moments ago. All went well on my end. Gyodo made met with an Imperial officer and, and wheeled his way some new information. It seems the troops who recently arrived from Kugane came directly from Gal Garlemald. The Imperials based here have been kept in the dark. And that's not all. A contingent of the aforementioned troops are preparing for deployment to the Ruby Sea. If I didn't know better, I'd say they picked up Gosetsu's trail. Then your, inform then your information matches ours. We are certain that Gosetsu seeks to cross the mainland. Sorry, did, did did I hear that right? You use Scion funds to buy Kosetsu's katana? At the asking price? I well, we were in some haste, then it seems like a worthwhile gesture. Speaking of which, here's the contract of sale. Crazy that the man is paid. That's false beard. You agreed to this? Give me strength. Ugh, it's not like the search can wait. You'd best be on your way. But Alfino, we need to talk. I want you to come straight to the offices as soon as you get back. Promise me. Oh, very well. I shall call upon you as soon as I return. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. First, let us go to the Ruby Price. If Gosetsu has already set sail. The sentry is there sure to have seen him. Tatar seemed rather vexed, did she not? Ever the melodramatist. Dramatist. I'm sure our finances can stretch to a single sword. Remind me to explain the value of such gestures when we next see her. Ah, but I digress. We have work to do. This boy's gonna die. She's going to kill him. Right. I suggest we begin by learning what we can from the sentries. Is this the scene? Perhaps. Which scene are you talking about, Ten Ten? I'm be jumping into the water. What's going I on forget. out there? Travelers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. The Garleans have launched an attack on the Confederacy. Thank grid, is that you? Your voice keeps popping up everywhere. I think that's a thank grid. We have no reason to believe they'll turn their attention here. But for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. We can't do that, thank grid. Here's a nice drinking game for Final Fantasy. Have a drink every time you hear Thancred. <laughs> Who isn't Thancred? Oh no! The Garleans bear no love for the Confederacy, but with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless... Unless Yotsuyu is on that island. Even if she isn't, our allies are under attack and they need our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. It shall be done. And you're going to swim there, are you? It is the quickest way. 
And you may rest assured I've been practicing. <laughs> He's been practicing. Oh, go boy. Yeah. Neurosis.exe has been forcibly <laughs> installed. Good luck. Come. He's dead. <laughs> Dr. Pex is thanking for the gifts up to 1010. Alphino is dead. He he's dying. He's a dead dead boy. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> We're so proud of him. Leave this to me. Oh, I think we have to like go up and everything. Just, like go up of that. Yeah. You here for the old man? I'm always here for the old man. <laughs> always, always, always. Tsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Stay back, Tsuyu. <coughs> Are you all right? Is he all right? Gozetsu! Damn it, we took too long. Change of plan, eliminate hostiles! All forces, attack! Even the plague deal.
heck's a drone? I don't know what a heck's a drone is. But it sure is that. What has magic missile? It plays D&D? Yo! I don't remember this goddamn solo duty. I don't remember it either. I vaguely remember it just because Yotsuyu and Gosetsu were in the middle of it, but I don't remember anything else. Like, all I remember was the cutscene in the middle. The art of my Why is it so long, though? Is it to make for the fact that I don't think there's a dungeon in this patch? Is this why? Do it, Alfie. Okay. I think we did it. Yeah, we're done. Duty complete. Let's beat the hottest woman in Final Fantasy. There she is. Clearly, I'm talking about Gosetsu, by the way. <laughs> no, it's Gosetsu, Yosuyo. thank the heavens. I love Suyo so much. Yugiri, my friends. The Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. It's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. But they it's would me. never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. Do not be afraid, Suyu. These people are my friends. Friends. Forgive me, but at the risk of souring the mood, I believe you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river, where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea, at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some Galian witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories, and speaking like a child. A trick, surely. 
That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. Twas their will that we survive, both of us, together. And together we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. Twas a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. As you say. But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. Thank you. As Tansui says, we should move on. It would not do for Yotsuyu to be seen here. Now, if I know my sister, she will already, already be waiting for the boat at the nearby pier. Let's go and see if I'm right. This part of Sword of Blood is actually pretty interesting, but it's, I'm kind of biased because Yeltsu is in it, and I just love her. But it also has my least favorite character introduced. He'll be coming soon. I'm so excited. You're sitting here fighting again. Tell, um, give them the coffee maker. It's fine. They'll argue over that. Hi, Errol. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic, hope you're having a fantastic one. Ass face. Yeah, he is an ass face. Okay, BRB. <laughs> Good luck, Errol. <laughs> oh no. It's fine. Try again. Well, Setsu, thank the gods you're safe. It was all I could do for, to watch the battle from afar. And it was all I could do to restrain her. You can't blame me for worrying. Strong as Nur is, anything could happen in the chaos. But enough about me. We need to talk about her. Um, greetings? They tell me you've lost your memory, and that's fine. I want you to know something. I won't be taking my eyes off you, not for a moment. These people are strange. Are you sure they're your friends? I am. They may behave strangely, but I trust them with my life. You have not to fear. All right, if you say so. Right, it's just that past time we sail. I, for one, would not keep Lord Hian waiting without new cause. Hi. the longer we tarry, the more we risk inviting trouble. Lest you forget, the Red Koji bear no love for you too, either. I shall deliver you to familiar shores. You're sorry, but out of the villager's sight. Get a smuggler in the Doma. Here's where we part ways, my friends. I pray the remainder of your journey passes uneventfully. There, when you are not otherwise occupied, I would speak to you about my next business venture. We're not doing that. We're not doing that sort of run. I'm sorry. It promises to be extremely lucrative. And I do not say so lightly. After the prodigious sum spent acquiring a certain sword, it presents a fine opportunity to refill the science coffers and restore the smile to Mr. Taru's face. Oh, come along. Taru was overreacting. 
How, could, how much could a single katana possibly cost? Or more than you think, plainly. A blade like Gosetsu's is worth a fortune, enough to buy a house and furnish it, which you would know had bothered the check price. What? I had no idea. This business venture of Sorbonne's. You, you will give it a fair hearing, I trust. He has been good to us after all. As for me, I think I should look at the drawing upon my personal funds. Not my problem to solve. Yeah, I'm not I'm not doing the sword boss. This um is the four lords, right? I'm not doing it. We must meet with Lord Hean as soon as possible. Though may have not up the enclave. I will send word requesting that he receive us at the House of the Fierce, where there are fewer prying eyes. If all are in agreement, I shall scout ahead and see that the way is clear. Pray follow as swiftly as you are able and join me at the outskirts of Namai. I'm the Yonksha. I love the song. All is well? Good. The others are hiding nearby. Let us proceed quietly, if you please. Very stupid soon, but I love you. I am returned. Save your tears for the morrow. For we who yet walk the path should not think too much on the destination. When the hour arrives, we shall welcome what comes with open arms. And welcome it you did, even as the keep fell down around us. At that moment, in your smile. I spied a shred of hope, one which I have clung to ever since. Gosetsu, full glad am I to see you alive and yeah. well. Love you, Bill. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. That they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. Now then, though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. Hey. <laughs> we'll be hanging out with Hien now. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Galleons will not soon give up the chase. Nay. It will end with her capture, or her death. Are you a friend, too? She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here, that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. Yes, my lord. Come. No, I don't want to. Don't let her take me away. The 
It's all right, Soyu. I will come with you. Be a good girl and listen to Yukiri. From a hound at his throat to a puppy at his heel. If this is an act, it is a remarkable performance. Oh, date night with Hien. I love this. Thank you for delivering Gosetsu back to us in one piece. We are lucky indeed to have friends who would journey to the other side of the world to help us, and repeatedly at that. We have much and more to think upon, but as regards to the Empire, we can but watch and wait. Now then, seeing as you come all this way, you must allow me to show you around the, the Enclave. Would, I would not have you think we've been idle in your absence. The rebuilding effort proceeds apace, I am pleased to say, and we are now ready to welcome home our countrymen who were displaced by the war. Should they de so desire it, there's a place here for those who fled to Eorzea. We would be delayed to accept your invitation, Lord Hien. And I have no doubt that your subjects and revenants toll will be heartened to hear that their lord has not forgotten them. Oh, it's nothing. I just thought that Gosatsu and Yigiri would be back by now. Forgive me, my lord, but... Captain Jufui is not nowhere to be found. Oh? He was here when I arrived. For now, we have taken Yotsuyu to a private chamber and assigned another to watch over her, my lord. I find it fa passing strange that the captain should leave his post with nary a word. It does seem most unusual. If you mean to look for the man, we will be happy to assist you. We will be glad of the help. By search of without, may you... Mayhap you could ask our soldiers here if they know anything. What is it, Fexus? I will join you. With respect, my lord, you should remain here. You should, should the Empire move against us, you'll feel better to coordinate a response. Oh, thank you for the care package. Oi. Uh. Huh, I Nero was thinking I was in charge. But you have the right of it. Go on, then. I will mind the house. Fun fact, I almost cosplayed Hien. I was actually working on, um, I was working on it for a hot minute. Then COVID happened. <laughs> like, I, I, um, I had a lot of fun because, like, with COVID, I, I got like less hours at work, so I was like working on some like cosplay related items, and um, I was doing a lot of dye experiments because like Ian's Ian's um, outfit it goes from a gradient from yellow to blue blue, so I was experimenting with dye remover and dye. So basically, I would I took yellow fabric, I used dye remover to like have a gradient from the yellow back to white. And then I would have to um, put in the blue and make it a gradient from blue into the yellow. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out as neat as I wanted it to. Honestly, it was the best I could do at the time and still it still looked really good. It's just that some of the in-between started to look greenish rather than that smooth gradient. But it was like the, it looked really good. I kind of wish I kept all my scraps, but I had to I had to downsize a lot when I when I moved uh, in COVID times. I'd like get rid of all my like loose loose scraps that didn't have like a place to be, including my um my Hian um testing strips. One day, one day I should try to do Hian again. It's just a lot, and I I can't easily do crafting right now until I move. You see, the captain he passed a little by a little while ago. I uh I wondered if I should tell someone as it happens he did not look well. You see, I wondered. If I asked if aught was the matter, and he told me the past had caught up with him, but I doubt it was that. There are older men in our ranks. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. 
Captain Jafuya. He was headed for the northern entrance when I saw him last. I was going to invite him to train with us, but he did not hear me call out to him. If you need him, I dare say the sentry on duty will be able to be able to tell you more. Indeed, I suggested as much to the mis Mistress Alize when she came asking earlier. Is something amiss? Go. Hi, the captain went outside some few bells ago. Looking quite unwell, I am sorry to say. At this I mentioned to Lord Gosetsu, who straightaway struck out after him. I hope they will be all right. Gosetsu too. It seems everyone is bent on joining the search. That's all well and good, but someone has to stay behind. There's no telling what the Empire is plotting. You go on, Nur. I'll be now I will hold the fort. Alright, let's see what's going on. What's, what's up? Why is he so sick? I beg of you, say nothing of this. I, I, I was never here. There you are. Lady Yugiri, Lord Gosetsu, forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master, when she was yet a courtesan. By the Kami. She worked in my establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. She may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her. But I knew she would be popular. And so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. Well, you came to serve the Liberation Front. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. Joining the Front was meant to be my atonement. But the truth is, the truth is, I am a coward, whose only thought was to escape her wrath, then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. I trust you have no objections, you giddy? None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. Who is it that you seek to protect, Gosetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind. Hmm. Interesting. Forgive me. Now's not the time for brooding. Come, let us rejoin the others.
Sorry, it's sneeze. <laughs> your help in the search. Gosetsu told me all that transpired. I would not presume to defend the life Jifuya had led before he joined the front, nor will I condemn it. Frankly, it's not my place to judge. I will only say this. The Jifuya I know has only been a man of courage. That he should feel driven to flee be speak to the depth of his terror. Even now, Yotsuyu casts a, uh, cast a shadow over the realm. But the question is what is to be done to her with her must wait. The Empire is on the move once more. Again, I hope I hope there's not a rat with them. While you're out searching for Jafuya, we received the word from our Shinobi allies. An Imperial airship has been sighted over Doman soil. Our visitor's objective remains unclear. It may be another attempt to recover Yotsuyu or a prelude to invasion. Either way, the craft reportedly advances at speed and appears bound for Castrum Fulminus. I need to go there and ascertain their intent. If we ride out in force, it will only end one way, but we, sh we shall keep our numbers to a minimum. Yigiri, Nur, can I count on you? Yes, my lord. Alize and I would, f would fain play our part as well. We will not stand idly by it while a common foe threatens the lands of our friends and allies. We would be glad of the help. You are acquainted with Hakuro, I believe, and I bet you seek him out and assist in maintaining order in the Enclave. When the people see an Imperial airship, they are liable to panic. I would have you reassure them, and, should it come to it, aid in their evacuation. Very well. We shall depart at once. You take, you take care. What of me, my lord? The Empire may well be after Yotsuyu. You would remain here and guard her until my return. As you wish. Pray stay close to Nero and Yigiri. Yeah, well, well. Guard duty and not a breath of protest. Now I have seen it all. The cast from Fulminus, then. Let us find out what the Empire's game is. Man, I hope there isn't someone there. I think I know... Who it is though? Yay! I'm so excited! Yay! like the nighttime music as much as the daytime music it's like i don't know the daytime music is so good that the nighttime can't even compare the area is secure whatever our visitors purpose they plainly believe that they can achieve it alone I mean, it is pretty nice, but daytime is very, very chill. The craft should come into view at any moment. Let us await them inside the castrum. Smoke signal? Thoughts, Yugiri? In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? Who can say? Whatever they want, we cannot simply blast them out of the sky. 
Not no, being so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dolmans want for propriety. No, no, we should we should shoot them out. Hey, hey, Hien, 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 you're you're a darling little baby boy. I love you for that. We should shoot them out of the sky. Then I That's shall my recommendation. Nay, that won't be necessary. We will meet them openly. No, no, shoot them out of the sky. Come on. Come I on. welcome this student of Dorman history in person, whomsoever he or she may be. No, no, kill him. Kill him. As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. should be received by the lord of Dorma himself shut the fuck up kid i'm gonna kill you three times I at but least. afford an emissary of peace the courtesy he is due welcome to Dorma, my lord ah where are my manners i am asahi sus brutus ambassador plenipotentiary of garlemont He is heir to the Nyuri clan, and Yotsu's stepbrother. Kill him. Kill him. It seems I need not introduce myself. Not in the presence of the famed Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide, my lady. Fuck you. It is true. The former acting viceroy is my sister. Yet bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. As will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. Bitch. Ah. I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. Long have we labored to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission, granting me the authority to speak with his voice. To negotiate peace with Dorma. Kill him. Kill him. Well then, we have much to discuss. Will you accompany me to my hall? Gladly, my lord. Snake, snake. It's a snake. Uh. Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. We shall escort our guests across the river to the Enclave. Here we go. Pray go ahead to the Yuzuku Manor docks and see that the fairies are ready. Ew. That's the most disgusting man I've ever seen in my life. Most disgusting man I've ever seen. I've seen Solus. Like... How disgusting do you have to be to beat Solus in a disgust level? A little bitch, that's what you, but that's what it takes. Now introducing my least favorite villain in all Final Fantasy XIV. I don't like him. I don't like. Honestly, Xenos and um, Xenos and um, Asahi have stiff competition. I hate them both pretty equally. <laughs>
Yeah, ass face. I'm not even talking to him. I'm just like, see, I don't even want to look at him. It's so disgusting. Doesn't even look, doesn't even wear the hair that good. Honestly, I can wear the hair much better than he can. I'm stealing his hair style, bitch. Lord He and I will accompany the Imperial delegation on the first ferry. When you are ready, speak with the boatman and join us the other side. Oh no, I accidentally tripped him. Oh no, he's going down the stairs. Oh, what a shame he's dead. Oh no. I'm crying, I just killed everyone's favorite character. It's not anyone's favorite character. I lied. That's a lie, actually. I double lied. Every single character in Final Fantasy XIV has a diehard stand. I've seen Die Hard Sand for Asahi. And I'm serious, by the way. When I say there are Die Hard fans of every single Final Fantasy character, I am not lying. Um, once I went to, I've seen Die Hard fans as the one NPC you could play cards with and you. Wait, really? <laughs> oh, that's out of left field. Um, or the OC ship. Oh. Yeah, when I was, um, what was it? I went to a convention once and someone was selling like a bunch of Final Fantasy 14 stuff. So I was talking to them just like, oh my God, uh, I'm gonna buy some stuff for you. And we were just like, we could just got talking about our like favorite characters and stuff. I was like, yeah, I love Emmett, but honestly my favorite character never gets merch. So I, I like, I rarely see merch of him. And, he, and they were like, oh my God, who is it? And I was like, yeah, I, I love Leofurd. You never see merch. And he's like, oh my God, I feel the same way because my favorite character never gets merch either. And I was like, really? Who's your favorite character? And their favorite character in the entire game was the teacher of the alchemist plot for our Realm Reborn. That was her favorite character in all Final Fantasy, the teacher of alchemy. <laughs> or is, is, I think it's alchemy. I think that that's the, the, the role name. I haven't unlocked this in my main account. Yeah, it's Alchemist. So her favorite character was the Alchemist. So literally everyone has a stand. And of course, there's a lot of stands of Steph and Ivian from the, the Machinist quest line, which I need to do more of. Um, I've seen stands like a lot of different, like wild characters. Um, I've seen Smut. I haven't read it, but while browsing while, while browsing um, AO3, I've seen Smut of this character, Hakuro. Um, which I, I shouldn't really be surprised because he's a furry. So, you know, slim pickings for <laughs> for main characters of furries. Until, until Dawn Trail, at least. Uh, what other, like, odd ass art I've seen. I've seen a lot of um a lot of sexy fan art of one of the was it one of the bosses of pandemonium, the vampire dude, yeah. I've seen a lot of sexy fan art of that guy. Um That's not really weird though, because that's like it's like a boss. People do people do simp over the bosses sometimes. So that's not as weird actually. Huh trying to brainstorm like what what is the like oddest like fan art in or fan art slash fan fiction you've seen of a final fantasy character that just like really of them have you guys seen any of the weird one sexy da hebrea versus extemis <laughs> oh yeah that da, da, dad hebrea that that the, also does not register as a weird like off the wall choice for me just because, like, he was in Pandemonium. So, obviously, someone's gonna smut him. <laughs> like, so that, that doesn't surprise me. But the Alchemist questline dude does surprise me. So, you have to, like, go really at the, out there to, to surprise me. Like, Stephanibian, technically, that is kind of a surprise. Because he's also a job teacher. Any of the job teachers, I think, are a surprise favorite. 
Um, except for except for the Dark Knight quest line, because that's kind of that's kind of a exception to the rule, I think. Oh, I can unlock um Doman Doman Restoration. Antivirus alert. <gasps> Your Ray? Is oh my god, Ray lost. raiding my stream. Hello, Betty. My name is Neurosis. I'm a computer artist. Wait. Your PC Ma is <laughs> Maddie Matsu. Oh, double raid? Hello, everybody. My name is Neurosis. I'm a computer virus VTuber. Currently, we're playing Final Fantasy 14. I am replaying all of the... I'm replaying all of the MSQ from A Realm Reborn to Endwalker. We are in the middle of Stormblood. We are in patch 4.2. So we have just met Asahi. Uh, we are that part. So it wasn't planned for sure. Definitely not. No. Yeah, yeah, de definitely not. Let me give you guys a quick shout out. Ray. What were you playing? Team Fight Tactics. Oh, goodness. How was is, how is that for you two? Yeah, I hate Asahi too. This is the worst part of the game. <laughs> it was so fun. Nice, nice, nice. Well, unfortunately, it's not going to be as fun for us because we met Asahi. So we're at the worst part of Final Fantasy right now. Whoopsies. I'll we'll suffer near the end. Ray is always thriving. Ray always thrives. That's correct. I'm just unlocking Dome and Restoration so I can sell things. Oh, can I not? Oh, oh, I have to like do a quest line before I can turn things in for easy money. Whoopsies. Also, I cannot no longer offer you free gill and poor since I bought furniture. That's valid. Uh, it's fine. I just bought a house. The house has been bought, Ray. I got a house in Mist. It. I just got it today, like right at the beginning of stream. Thank you for the money, by the way. I was able to front most of the house. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, this Hien, he's very good boy. Very, very good boy. I love him. I love him the most because he's not Asahi. There you are, Ner. So first things first, what do you think of the Enclave? I must say, I'm quite proud of what my countrymen have accomplished in the time. We even have an Aether right now. Curtis V of Oni Shishiyu. Be sure to tune to it, right? Would you? Once it has a worry of light seal of approval, people might actually start using the damn thing. But on the matter of hand, the ambassador and his retinue are in my hall, taking their ease ahead of the negotiations. I want you there when the talking starts. I want Ian to fold me like <laughs> I am true. Honestly, though, same. <laughs> I'd let him. <laughs> you know, just asexual things. Just asexual things, just like. I don't want sex. I hate the idea of any kind of sexual stuff in real life, but if I met him in real life, he could attempt it. <laughs> I let him try. <laughs> it will we'll serve to send, send a message to the Empire that Eorzea and Doma stand united. I'm not normally one to, for hollow posturing, but in this game of nations, such gestures carry weight. Fair, fair. Yeah. I mean, He's not real, so I can just I can just be like, yeah, if you're real, fuck it, it means he's real, so why not? <laughs> oh, should you feel uneasy about speaking for the science? Alphino and Alize will also be there. You need only eat, drink, and look imposing, say you'll come. Oh. I'll be there for you, Hien. I knew I could count on you. When you are ready, come and join me at the, my humble abode, the Kienkin. The guardsmen will see you in. Oh, I'm invited to Kien's home. Oh my goodness. Lord Kien is expecting you, Meishu Yun. Kien, your house is so big. What else is big? What else is big about you? If it is for sure, it's totally platonic, but yeah. Just friend things. No, we're sitting on the floor, I guess. Why do they get the carpet? 
Ew, On behalf gross. of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. Uh, Ian, can I kill him now? Please? You'll Please? forgive me if we forgo the pleasantries. You say you are come to negotiate peace. Unless I am mistaken, such negotiations are typically conducted between sovereign nations. I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dormer's sovereignty. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. No, however, that he has expressed willingness to cede Dorma to her ancestral masters and treat with her as a friend. Since the days of Emperor Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. This you know as well as we. In his wisdom, Emperor Varus wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. On the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. <laughs> when... when when I was playing this originally, I, I main summoner this expansion, so I'm just like sweating over here, just like and summoning. I hope they don't see my book. Doma has never shown any appetite for summoning, and it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, icon or otherwise. With regard to the Kojin. I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation. When the Ruby Sea was at peace and their sacred relics safe, they looked not to their kami for protection. Yet even now there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays. Unless they alter their course, we cannot hope to be rid of icons. Mm -hmm. Quite. I can but apologize. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Tis an irony among ironies, one with which the people of Eorzea are well acquainted, I am told. Indeed, many summonings are the result of persecution, the weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. So it was in Alamigo, the bitter fruit of Garlean oppression. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. Yet we continue to repeat our mistakes, oblivious to the lessons of history. My comrades and I would change all that. We, Populares, have campaigned long and hard for a shift in Imperial policy. And at last, the Emperor has seen fit to lend us an ear. He's a snake. He's a snake. Kill him. Alas, there is a faction within Garlemald that would obstruct our every attempt at reform. A collection of pure-blooded Garlians who seek to consolidate their own supremacy. The Optimatus. His voice sucks. It's perfect Lest for the character, but it sucks. Theirs was the hand that loosed our forces on the Confederacy. T'was a regrettable incident, one that flies in the face of everything we believe. And I swear to do all in my power to prevent a reoccurrence. Yeah, perfect, but I hate it. Shut up. <laughs> that would be most welcome. But if I may speak plain, if the Empire itself is not of one mind, how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? I smart. cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. And so, in the name of building trust, I would like to make a proposal. 
A prisoner exchange. Hmm. Under Garlian rule, no few Dormans were conscripted into the Imperial Army. We would repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the recent conflict. Naturally, any exchange would include the acting Viceroy. Yotsu? What makes you think we have her? Forgive me, my lord. Was it not your wish to speak plain? Let us not play games. I desire only to work to our mutual benefit. The Optimates tried and failed to take my sister by force. I would succeed by peaceable means, thereby strengthening my party's hand. It would be a lie to say I would not also be glad of my sister's safe return. Bitch. Hmm. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. Of course, my lord. May we remain in Dorma until you have come to a decision? No. Kill. I'm gonna kill him. Kill, murder, maim. You shall be our honored guests. You giddy. I leave the ambassador and his retinue in your care. See that they are well looked after. You have our gratitude, Lord Hien. We shall look forward to your answer. Oh, I hate him. My hot girl. There's keep. Oh my God, is that check? Yo, is that Cassandra Torn check these Minotaur VTuber famous, famous, famous Minotaur dude? How you doing? How was the rest of your stream? Oh, you're playing. You're playing that um observation duty esque game for a while. Did you win Freddy's? Did you win Frederick Fra Fra Frederick Frazbear's Pizzeria adventure? Well, that was unexpected. You can say that again. I still don't know. I still, still don't know quite what to make of it. But on the surface, a prisoner exchange does seem like a good way to begin. The question is, can they be trusted? I'm good. Stream was solid. We, I did win. We even did nightmare difficulty. The whole long. Nice, nice. Yo, you beat Freddy on Nightmare. You're the king of Five Nights of Freddy's. Someone call Markiplier. Hmm. They had not the game by divulging the details of their internal divisions. As it stands, we have no reason to doubt them. But the ambassador's mention of Yotsui yet left me ill at ease. It made his grand talk of peace seem uncannily like a lengthy preamble. You think this might be all ruse to facilitate her retrieval? Perhaps. Though I cannot fathom why they would go to such lengths. Yotsui may have been acting viceroyal, but she is not Garlean, not even highborn. Her value must be presumably lie in what she knows. Which brings us to the little matter of her memory loss. In her present condition, she would not yield any worthwhile intelligence, nor she is worth much as a bargaining piece. Alfino, you are well acquainted with the Empire's methods. I would have your thoughts on this matter. My knowledge is at your disposal, Lord Hian. While the Ambassador's proposal is appealing in principle, it would be remiss of us not to give it due scrutiny. Indeed. Though it seems to me we have little choice but to accept regardless, with so many of our brothers and sisters languishing in imperial camps, I cannot well turn my back on a chance to secure their, their reparation. Only the Kami know when I will be afforded another. But ere we continue, shall we excuse these two? I fear what follows will bore them to tears. I was just about to show myself out as it happens. Come on, Nur. Let's leave Alfino to discuss his copious knowledge. Someone is still sore from being made to watch at Saka, Saka, Sakazuki. Go on and keep Alize company. We are safe enough for now. Oh no. Who put this dagger here? Oh no, I'm tripping and falling on... On... 
<laughs> on Asahi? Oh no, how clumsy could I be to stab to stab him to death? Oh no. Such a shame. Looks like nothing will happen. <sighs> a chance to relax at last. I know when I'm out of my depths, sir. Though no weapons are drawn, a negotiation is no less a battle, and the stakes can be every bit as high. One misplaced word and people could die. I take someone with a cool head, and I'll be the first to admit that's not me. So we're left with an eternal question. What to do while they prattle on? Um, stakes. All right, for want of a better suggestion, let's say you to a brief tour of the newly liberated Doma. I'd be interested to hear how the people are faring in their own words. And it's not as if we will be missed here, or will we? Nur, a moment, if you would. Ah, oh, not Asahi. Ah, Yugirian. Asahi, was it? You have some business with Nur. Business? No, pleasure, my lady. I merely wish to exchange a few words with the famed Slayer of Gods and Champion of Eorzea. It is truly an honor. Such heartfelt admiration. One would almost forget that you're the envoy of an empire. Oh, is that so strange? We have stood on opposing sides in the past, but I see no contradiction in lauding the woman who would do battle with our common enemy. Unless you forget. This is my homeland. It would be remiss of me not to at least thank her for containing the threat posed by the Kojin's Isle I vile icon. Now, if I may continue, as we speak, Lord Hien deliberates over my proposal, and I would take this time to see the land I once called home, Snake. Though Lady Yagiri is certain to be a jovial escort, the excursion will be all the more enjoyable for your company, and safer besides. Oh no, I'm tripping... And there's a knife in my hand? Oh no! Oh no, my gun's out! Oh man, I hope my hand doesn't slip while it's pointed directly at Asahi. Hmm. The ambassador has the right of it. It's not like he would harm he would come to harm with you at his side. Will you join us? I'm quite sure he's safe with you, Yagiri. Come now, Nur. There's not else for us to do until Lord Hien has reached his decision. And we are not at this moment. And were we not at this moment discussing how best to learn more about the current state of Doma? It is settled then. The four of us shall make a brief excur excursion through Yangsha. May we st start at the town of Monzen? I'd like to see what has become of Doma Castle. Very well, if you will follow me. I don't want to go on a walk with him. I don't wanna. I'm kicking and screaming. I'm stomping my feet. I'm three years old. I don't wanna go with him. His vibes are bad. He's failing the vibe check. Don't make me go here. intimidate him with my giant chocobo. He'll be so scared. Like, how is that tiny little lizard piloting that giant chocobo? And he'll piss his pants and leave. That's the plan right now. music. Nay, can the 
this truly be Monzen, home to the cream of Domo Samurai? I had heard that Yotsuyu attended, intended to send some few of our automata here, but only by way of warning. It should not have come to this. Indeed, her savagery served only to incense the people and spur them to rise up in protest. It was folly to think such methods of governance would ever prove effective. <sighs> the sooner we can begin to make events for the senseless destruction, the better. Securing supplies and support for the re reconstruction effort should not be difficult once our nations are formally at peace, of course. Yes, of course. If you would have a better view of what remains of the castle, we must proceed through the ruins. Bitch. Hate this bitch. It is a travesty. A travesty! I remember the key being so beautiful. In the light of the setting sun, one would swear it was a slain. It is indeed a doleful spectacle. Mayhap we will rebuild it one day, when we have finished helping our people rebuild their lives. Don't go like a true popularis. The needs of the people must of course come first. Speaking of whom, would you be opposed to my seeing how they live firsthand? The village of Namai is but a short journey from here, if I'm not mistaken. By river, yes. If you would follow me, I'll ready our boat. Okay. 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 a fight and I gotta turn down the volume. Get fighting levels. Ready to cast off? Someone's in trouble. Bitch. I don't trust you. Not the red cojean. Are you all right? Hi. What do they want with you? Yuki, and you look too. Uh, I, I don't know. We were returning from the enclave when they came at us. It seems they won't go quietly. And neither will we. I don't remember this duty at all. No memory of this. Another victim of the Stormblood soup, I think. Shut the fuck up, Asaki.
no memory of this at all. How long is this one gonna last? All of the single player um, duties have been very long this patch. Probably to make up for like everything. We did it. Yay. Okay, that was shorter. <sighs> that seems to be the last of them. You have nothing to fear, child. You are safe now. Snake, get away from him. Thank you, sir. Get away from him. You saved us again. Thank you. If you're ever passing by our village, look us up. You'll always be welcome. We arrived when we did. Indeed. But what could have prompted the Red Codin to stray so far from the Ruby Sea? Seems very, um, very good timing there, Asahi. I wonder if they were planted here somehow. Hmm? I presume these are the cell swords hired by Yotsu. If so, the answer is simple. Desperation. Bereft of Imperial employment, they seek other means to line their coin purses. Another sad legacy of the Empire's mismanagement. The Empire to which you have sworn allegiance. Must you always be so pointed? If we are to bring about lasting change, we must look beyond narrow allegiances. You have every right to doubt me, but in time, I hope you will come to see that we share a common goal. Bitch. You and yours have fought fiercely to change the Empire from without. But if we are to end the cycle of conflict, the Empire must change from within. Am I wrong? Think emoji. <laughs> Not about that. True reform can only come from within. I knew you would understand. You have Not witnessed such it, change firsthand, after all, during your time in Ishgar. Why do you know that? Why you? Why you know that? Disgusting. Dear me, I had hoped to convey my views on our nation's shared hopes before, under more peaceable circumstances. 
Yet this regrettably little interlude did afford me a chance to see the famed Yuri of Eorzea in action. And few Imperial soldiers can say that, at least few who live to tell the tale. Well, after that little ordeal, I believe it may be time for us to return to the Enclave. Return, my lord? What am I? You seem so eager to observe the villagers going about their daily lives. To be frank, I still am, but I'd rather doubt the good people of Namai would take kind to a sight of a man in imperial uniform with blood dripping from his blade. I, even in your company, my presence would only prove a distraction. Fret not, however. Thanks to the three of you, I've seen a great deal more than I otherwise would. And with any luck, Lord Hian will have finished considering my proposal by the time we return. Ugh. least favorite like i think the story here is pretty interesting and i like what they're doing with um yotsuyu and gosetsu in this part of the story but it's also some of my least favorite parts of stormblood so it's like the best in the worst all at once it sucks i think you're pretty oh my god jack you're pretty interesting Reverse Uno card, back at ya. Alright, let's go on and take the Hian's place again. Hian, I love you. Please kill this guy. I'm begging you. Thank you again for agreeing to, to join me. If not for your aid, the Koji may, may well have overrun us. Pray to go on ahead. Lord Hian is expecting you. I'll remain without and keep watch over our guests. Well, we best not keep him waiting. I'll never keep him waiting. I love him. back, my friend. Giri tells me you accompanied her and Asahi on a tour of Yangsha. I had hoped you might take the opportunity to recover from your excursion ex exertions at Sakazuki. Hi, Mitsuri Soul Calibur. Hi! But rather, your time... I gather your time was well spent. Until the ambassador affords Yagiri a chance to make a full report, however, I must rely on you to supply the details. So please, tell us all how it all unfolded. The Red Kojin? Here? Have there been any other such incidents since the liberation? Not that I am aware of. They are planning some new venture here in Yangsha. We need to increase the patrols. In any event, I am indebted to you for fighting them off. But tell me, don't be modest. Was Asahi truly the first to leap to the youngster's aid? He was. I was quick to doubt him when we first met, but his desire to save them seemed quite genuine. It's possible he truly believes what he's saying. In the time I've known you, you have always been an excellent judge of character. What do you make the ambassador? I still don't think you can be trusted, sir. And the question of what his true intention may be remains. Regardless of his aim, I'm resigned to playing his game, for now at least. Well, forswearing summoning would be simple enough, considering you never dabbled it in the first place. Which just leaves a somewhat thornier question of how to police the Red Kojin. It was with that very question in mind I sought Alfino's counsel. Thanks to his knowledge of the icons and rituals used to invoke them, I believe we've identified a workable solution. As you will recall, Susano was summoned forth with the power of relics locked away in the Kojin's treasure vault in the Isle of Zeki. Though said relics remained there to his estate, 
as all but certain the act of summoning exhausted their stores of aether, making subsequent summons impossible. Assuming that is the case, preventing the Primal's return rests on denying the Red Kojians the means to amass new stores of aether, either via the acquisition of crystals or the relics they are wont to collect. For this, we plan to enlist the aid of our friends the Blue Kojin. Since Doma's liberation, we have forged closer bonds with uh, Bunshin and his people, and with their support, I am quite confident we can keep the Red from obtaining what they desire to call forth the Susano. And what of the prisoners? They will be exchanged as agreed, and I will give full credit to Asahi for the success of the transaction. If there's aught to be we can do to help the populars garner favor, I mean to see it done. But first, I have some unfinished business to attend to. Would you all come with me? Yes, of course, but what manner of business? A past mistake I, which I would see put right. One which has weighed heavy on my mind. I had her brought here in secret while the three of you kept our guest company. The world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. You should be at the bottom of the river. Yet here you are. The living, breathing proof of my failure. A failure for which I would now make amends. What? What did I do? I don't remember. Was it really so terrible? Tell me, please! What did I do? You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? With the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? With both, I would say. For all have a conscience, and all must choose. But with no memory of who she is, or what she has done, what sin remains to be cleansed? You ask that I show mercy? I ask. Why the heavens saw fit to deny me my rest? Why Yotsuyu was spared not only death, but the bitter memories of her life? You truly think it the will of the Kami? If so... Her life is not mine to take. It is yours to safeguard. Come the hour of the exchange. If her memories have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. But if they do, the Guardians shall have their Viceroy. Though the people will protest, they will come to accept my decision when they have been reunited with their loved ones. Thank you, my lord. Now then, I believe we have kept our guests waiting long enough. Did Gorsetsu not seem strange to you? His sympathy for your Tsuyu part, I mean. I know his powers of endurance only too well, but after all he has suffered, even he should not be on his feet. He puts on a brave face for our sakes, but it would not surprise me if he lacked the strength to raise his blade. Though I suppose if he and your Tsuyu are to enjoy a life of peace and quiet, he will have little use for it. 
It falls to us to shape that future. One in which he need never again set foot on the battlefield. Good scene, good scene. With Yotsuyo safely in Gosetsu's care, all that remains is to answer Asahi's proposal. I realize other matters demand your attention, but I would ask that you stay a while longer to see this business through. I think it's really interesting how to do the the um the Yotsuyu amnesia subplot because it does raise like like Im interesting interesting things i think my apologies our deliberations took longer than expected. Think nothing of it. The time afforded me the opportunity to go on a rather rousing excursion through Yansha. You have reached a decision then? We are willing to cooperate with you in combating the Icon threat, and also in the exchange of prisoners. Assuming you accept our conditions, of course. As you know, your sister is in our care. Due to certain complications, however, we are hesitant to release her into your custody. Complications? She was inside Doma Castle when it collapsed. Though she survived, she remembers nothing of her past life, not even her name. To clarify, she is in our care not as a prisoner, but as a vulnerable citizen of Doma. Are you saying you refuse to release her? Yes. Not at all. If her memory returns before the appointed hour. And if not, what exactly? You will accommodate her here in Dorma? Well, I sincerely doubt she will be of any great strategic value to the Empire. She spends her days daydreaming of Dango. Dango? How dreadful. Very well. In light of our recent misstep in Sakazuki, it seems only fair that I show you the same understanding you have shown us. Though I do have one small request. Regardless of no. Yotsuyu's value to the Empire, she is yet my sister. Before I leave, might you permit me to speak with her in private? No. Of course. Perhaps you could even bring her a plate of dango. She would be most pleased. Yugiri will see you to her chambers. Forgive me, my lord, but has he not been gone over long? Perhaps I should. Calm yourself, Kosetsu. I understand your concern, but we have to wait. He deserves that much. I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. Thank you for your understanding. Long did I dream of this reunion, but never did I imagine it would be so joyless. Part of me hoped that your stories of her condition were just that, but alas, it is as you say. So you, do you remember anything of this man? Anything at all? No. I am a stranger to her. That much was clear to me from a single look. I'll, I'll leave her in your care. As you wish. Now, if you excuse me, my superiors are long overdue a report. They will be elated to hear of our agreements, of that I have no doubt. As for the exchange itself, once I have obtained the relevant permissions, I will exchange, arrange for your people to be relieved of their various duties and sent here to Yangsha. 
This will take time, of course. Of course. You may rest assured your soldiers will be well cared for until you, you return. We will also begin taking steps to better counter the threat of the Kojin and their, the Archon. Before I, you take your leave, there is one other matter. I am informed it was you who took lead in rescuing two young domans from a van of Kojin cell swords. I have not yet had the time to thank you properly. Please, there is no need to thank me. I only did what, what anyone would do under the circumstances. Fortunately, I was in good company at the time. The blight of the Red Kojin is of the Empire's making. Were not for our transgressions, those children would not have needed saving. The people of Doma have suffered enough, my lord, and I promise to do all in my power to spare them further pain, be it from the hands of the Kojin or indeed the Empire. It appears the Emperor will see things as you do. There may be hope for us all. Snake. Snake in the grass. Until we meet again. Gosetsu, as before, I leave Yotsuyu to you. To you. I invite the rest of you to join me outside. Let's treat Asahi to a proper farewell. No. Uh, I don't want to. At least, at least the more we play through these horrible things, the closer we get to Shadowbringers, which I'm very, very excited for. The ambassador ship awaits us at Castrum Fulminus. Let us be out. Shadowbringers is so close, I can taste it. Yeah. I wish you a safe journey. This has been a most enjoyable visit. I look forward to our next meeting. Snake. Maxima, would you take the others and see that all is ready for our departure? I simply cannot leave without first giving thanks to the Warrior of Light for accompanying me through Yansha. Yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. Sure. Yeah, say hi to me, bitch. I'll tear your kneecaps off. Mark me, savior of the savages. There will be a reckoning. Finch. You've nowhere left to run, traitor! Ignorant savages! Killing us will avail you naught! For every Imperial you cut down, a thousand more will come. Abandon this foolish endeavor and surrender! You may yet serve our righteous cause. Genshin Impact. Indeed it is. <laughs> Welcome in. How dare you speak of righteousness! You, who forsook kith and kin to serve conquerors! Be glad I grant you this mercy. Video game's going good. 
<laughs> We're playing through uh, my least favorite parts of Stormblood and my favorites and my my favorites and my uh, least favorites. What in the? Ew. Fuck you, Xenos. Reinforcement? No, just one. Cut him down. <laughs> You're getting on? I have a gun. I mean, my main role is gun. Yeah, just like Pal World. Just like it. It was beginning. I Thank you. Air. Thank you, sir. This one is promising. Who remains to offer us resistance? A, a, a host of rebels led by Lord Cayenne hold the Enclave across the river. Lord Cayenne? The king of the... The former king of Dorma, sir. They say he is one of the greatest swordsmen alive. Is that what they say? Surely you jest. That was Xenos Ye Galvas, Legatus of the Twelfth, the Crown Bloody Prince. I heard he was strong, but that... that was frightening. That was... Lord Xenos. The, the spaghetti hair condition? Their whole life, motherfucker. He's had the worst hair since he was born. <laughs> British. Oh, <laughs> yeah. They, they've always been British. I'm sorry. Everything you are, your power, even your face, it vexes me. I'm just a lizard, dude. Go on. Lash out like the beast you are at an emissary and jeopardize the newfound peace between Dorma and the Empire. Takes out gun, shoots him. Just shoots him dead. <laughs> Don't call your bluff, motherfucker. I'll do it. <laughs> My lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Fortunately, this is not a cute your envy. Light it is, is a disgusting man. to his radiance. He wished he could be a cute MB. <laughs> yeah, being a lolfo in the scene's great. With a goofy costume. I will cherish this moment. Lock it away within my heart. Until the day we meet again. A lolfo. I hate this man. So much. I hate this guy. Everyone hates him. He does the layers as well. Look what you've done to my peonies! <laughs> They're marigolds! Good God, I think she's right. They are marigolds. I may not know my flowers, but, but I, I know, know a, a bitch, bitch when, when I, I see one. one. We do know a bitch when you see one. Isn't that right, 1010? <gasps> I know a bitch when I see one, Asahi. I think the funniest thing, when I first played this, um, is that from It's Always Sunny? No, it is from, uh, it is from a movie in the 70s, I think? 
Let me, I, I think I know the name. I don't want to get it wrong, so we're looking up. I'm, I'm looking it up. Oh, it's 1969. It's, um, it's from a movie called The Gay Deceivers. Yeah, nice. You look troubled, my friend. Was it something he said? <laughs> Honestly, like that guy who like has the marigolds. Memories to witness. It, his marigolds trampled. He put his whole pussy into the that into that line. I had my doubts about him, but I would never have guessed he was a disciple of Zenos. My lord. Calm yourself, you giddy. I set no store by him or his enlightened brethren. But if by treating with them there is even the faintest hope we might secure the return of our conscripted brothers and sisters, I must play this game. After the way I risked their lives in the rebellion, I owe them that much. My lord, you bear no blame for their fate. The disciples, a weird way to say hopelessly in love, but okay. I mean, to be fair, Final Fantasy, like, rarely goes into the... Rarely says romance. Like, even if they're, like... Even if somebody's in, like, a married relationship, they barely go into it. They're just like, oh, yeah, they're together. <laughs> they're just saying... They just don't want to say, like, oh, he's head over heels. He's down bad. He's down bad for Xenos. If not blame, then responsibility. They were prisoners, and still I chose to fight. I just want to say, executed in retaliation. I just want to say, as somebody in the LGBT spectrum, um, we do not claim him. I do not claim Asahi. Um, he does not belong to us. And I think everybody else LGBT will say the same. <laughs> I don't claim him. <laughs> but now we have a chance to bring them home. If it means bargaining with a monster, so be it. My lord. Besides, I think he likes me, which is more than some can say. My god. Ian, you're so cute. A little golden retriever man. I like his beard. It makes no sense. Why would he bother keeping up pretense for so long, only to drop it right at the very end? Perhaps he no longer thought it necessary, having secured Doma's cooperation into a prisoner exchange. If he truly is a disciple of Xenos, his possible emotion simply got the better of him. Remaining calm around the woman who slew his lord will have taken his pop pole. Whatever explanation, now is not the time for hasty reprisals. We shall proceed as planned. The Red Koujin must be placed under surveillance, and the Garlean prisoner is made ready for the exchange. But you need not concern yourself with the details. Leave the affairs to Dol of Dolma to us. When the hour of exchange draws near, we'll call for you. I should certainly hope so. Whatever the Empire's true, true intent, we would be on hand to play our part, either to defend Doma or to help usher in a lasting peace. I had thought we might have use this time to return to Eorzea, but given the vi uh, vola volatility of the situation, it may happen would be best if you remained in Kukane. Agreed. Between Yotsu's amnesia and Asahi's dubious agenda, I, I say we have ample reason to remain in the neighborhood. If anything should happen, anything at all, you must send for us at once. Oh, we will. On that, you have my word. Charting a path through the sea of troubles promises to be difficult enough. I am not so proud as to attempt to beat alone. To Gugane, then. Taro and the others must know what has transpired here. Stayed there, no umbrella? Yeah. He's cool like that. If what you saw of the ambassador is an inclination of his true nature, then a prisoner exchange may not be what it seems. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder if your encounter with the Red Koji is more than mere happenstance. 
He's so smart. I love him. He's a smart man. Mugane. I just found a hair that's like way longer than the rest. I guess. Eh. Got to cut that later. It's like a strand that's like. Let me try and peel this out. It's like, it's like two inches longer than the rest of my hair. God damn. I guess I forgot to cut it. Ugh, I hate it when I hate it when I go to a hair place and don't even cut all my hair. Not the single. Yeah, like. I, I loathe it. This happened to me multiple times where like they get everything except for like one strand. Then I have to cut it myself like a barbarian. Ugh. It's so annoying. Not, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. Just like, oh my God, I have the long hair somewhere. Like cut it. My, it seems you're all in quite the predicament. Well, should we receive any urgent missives from Dolma? Rest assured that you will be the first to know it. Yes, of course. We're discussing ideas of to replenish our coffers. I suppose that all can wait if any urgent news should come through the office. Ahem, up, about that. I wish to apologize to Taru. It was reckless of me to make such a purchase without first consulting you. You may be certain, however, that I mean to reimburse the Scions, even if it means drawing upon my personal funds. That's very thoughtful for you, but I'm sure it won't come to that. If Sorabon's business proposition is as promising as it sounds, Nurse should have no difficulty wiping the red from our ledger. Sorry, Star, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it, Tatar, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Nur. It would seem I've unwittingly heaped my financial troubles upon you. I swear I will pay you back. Though I fear I'll juggle to cobble together anything of monetary value. Knowledge I can gather in some in abundance. To start, I plan to investigate the divisions forming within the Empire. Mayhap Riol and his associates may have heard something on the subject. Regardless, the more we know about the politics of Garlemald, the better our chances of predicting the Imperial's next move, which might lead, to, lead yield you an advantage on the day of the prisoner exchange. Knowing what we, what we do of Asahi's apparent resentment towards you, I cannot say that he hopes to gain for, from it. But if there's even the faintest chance that a lasting peace could be forged between Doma and the Empire, what choice do we have to find but to find it? Lord Hien had the right of it. Asahi may very well be a monster. We must play his game for now. No thumbs up, Hancock. Uh strike. Yeah, that's probably yeah, I think there's an end of patch. Arranging the prisoner exchange proved easier than I thought. Yes, my lord will be most pleased. Everything is going according to plan. Hmm. Sus. Can you truly remember nothing? Nothing at all? Were we friends? Yes, we were good friends, you and I. In fact, I've brought you a gift. I pray that one day soon, as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. It's a 
Pretty. Who are you? Who are you? Meanwhile, in the Imperial Capital. Yeah, this is definitely end of patch. How are you feeling, my lord? Fine, um, now leave me. Ew. Gross. He's back. Disgusting. Ew, and his spaghetti hair's back, too. Norvald really is a fan of like bringing back villains. Nobody ever dies. They just fucking keep coming back. Like little bitches. <laughs> like little cockroaches. Xenos is a cockroach. Okay, but I think we can call it here because this seems like a good place to stop. Because end of patch. So, um, basically, once I finish um, patch 4.3, I'm going to be calling it on Stormblood. Like, clearly, we still have some stuff to wrap up for Stormblood, as in, like, we have the rest of the patches, because, um, have 4.4 and 4.5 can still do before Shadowbringers. But I count those under Shadowbringers and not Stormblood, because that's, like, when they start ramping up, um, like, Shadowbringers plot. So that's when I start, like, calling it, oh, I'm replaying Storm Shadowbringers now. So that's when it's going to happen. But I still have an Omega to do, which I need to reschedule, but it depends on, like, I'm waiting to see how my schedule pans out before I start, like, trying to do something solid. So Omega's still going to happen. Um, hopefully my tech issues have resolved since then. My new router has been very stable. That's good. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for, for stopping in. Oh my goodness. So we're going to see who we're going to raid um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be playing Pyre. So I, I've forgotten all of the... Uh, forgotten all of the controls for Pyre, so it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be great. It'll be great. We'll remember everything and it'll be fine. Now, thank you for stopping in, Astro. Okay. Who is streaming right now? Well, there's a lot of people on right now. Okay. Um, Here's somebody we have not raided before. So uh, we're going to see somebody brand new. So... Um, this is by Fayon. Um, they are, I, here's a fun thing. I have not really talked to my art siblings ever. Um, because Yama has a lot of VTuber children, but, um, by Fayon is one of my, um, art siblings. They have the model by the same mama as me. So we're going to go say hi. They're currently playing Resident Evil 5. So let's see. Yeah, they're playing Resident Evil 5, so we'll, we'll go say hi to bye. So, again, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, it's going to be Pyre. And then, um, no stream Friday. No stream Friday. I'm going to be doing a Discord stream. So, Friday at 7, I think? I'm going to be watching Moulin Rouge for the first time and watching Anastasia. It'll be on Discord, so if you're not on my Discord, please join and watch musicals with me. That's mainly what I do. I just like watching musicals a lot, and I like sharing them with people, so please join me. <laughs> so, anyway, have a nice night, everybody. Bye. Bye.